So usually when I go for reaction videos, I just look in the stream ideas channel in my discord for ones that people have posted. Um, but this time I searched Megalodon alive on YouTube and then uh, sorted by new. So I found the newest, worst, low viewed Megalodon alive videos because clearly these top channels are making absolute dog shit content. So what are the small channels making, right? Because there are small channels doing this Megalodon react thing as well. So if top channels content is this bad, then bottom channels content must somehow be even worse. So this is what if Megalodon sharks were still alive? It has 700 views. It had under 700 when I first looked at it. And this person has 29 subscribers. This is the small channels making this bullshit. It is a creature that nightmares are made of. Something that can swallow multiple humans at a time, gulp down a <laughs> whole well, and crush anything in its way. We are talking about the most dangerous shark that ruled the waters back in its days, the Megalodon. It's more like a horror movie script. I also like that everyone uses the exact same clips and footage. I guess there's just not enough stuff of Megalodons. Yeah, they all use the exact same stock photos, the exact same movie footage, the exact same images. There's just not enough. Someone needs to like a good artist or CGI artist needs to go out there and just like make a shitload of new fake Megalodon stuff so that these channels have new content. Seriously. These creatures started at an average length of nearly 50 foot and had a very similar build to the great white sharks we know today. Some education. But their build was I'll more robust it. with thicker fins, bigger jaws, and small pig-like eyes <laughs> to give a false innocent look to this killer predator. Their teeth were very similar to those of modern white sharks in that they are triangular, serrated, and symmetrical. <laughs> the difference is... He's just describing it. Okay. Um... I'm not sure exactly how you're going to argue that they affect the ecosystem in the modern day. Also, pig-like eyes, what the fuck does that mean? What do pig- I don't even know what pig's eyes look like. Should I look up pig's eyes? Is this vital to the- Okay, I guess it's just black. It's just a black eye. It doesn't have a pupil or anything. Fair enough. I think that's they most sharks, if not all sharks, though. They are larger and thicker. How big were they exactly? We'll never know because scientists have never found an actual full body size fossil of this creature. The size what? of everything else they have estimated has come from the discovery of their fossil teeth and vertebrae. With a body length of nearly 50 to 60 foot. Okay, just because you haven't found an entire intact skeleton doesn't mean you can't estimate length. I mean, like, things work in ratios in bodies, like, anatomically. You know, size of vertebra decreases as you go down it. So it's, it's fairly easy to determine what the stopping point is. And then also you can just use like hydrodynamic estimate, you know, estimations to find out what actually even makes sense. Because it wouldn't have existed and there wouldn't be so many fossils, you know, so many teeth and vertebrate fossils if it wasn't successful. So we can clearly obviously say that it would have a successful locomotion strategy. So just with that stuff, it's pretty easy to estimate everything. The only thing that really changes is like foot to foot, the size estimates change year to year uh, because different people publish new papers where they'll say, okay, well, the math on this one was slightly wrong and it's 59 feet and the math on this one was slightly wrong, so it's 58 feet and it goes back and forth. But the actual like general idea is not questioned at all just because we haven't found one complete fossil. The Megalodon <laughs> was able to swim tremendously fast at nearly 11 miles per hour. That's an impressive feat. See, Especially. he literally, like, this picture is horrible, by the way. He literally just admitted that there's locomotion studies done. Because the only way that you would know how fast something that's extinct swims is using locomotion studies. Megalodon fossils have been found dating from the early Miocene era, which was 23 million years ago, to the end of the Pliocene era, which was about 2.58 million years ago. After the Pliocene era, there were no more fossils discovered of this sea monster, and so they were declared extinct after this period. Yep. But in their time of existence, the Megalodon was said to dominate the ocean. Scientists also speculate that the massive weight may be the result of cannibalism, so there is a chance that the Megalodon liked munching on their fellow The massive weight may be the result of cannibalism? How does that work? In order to be a large animal, you must be a cannibal? That wouldn't make you more food source. It would make it harder to reproduce because you'd be killing potential mates. I don't get it. One of the main reasons the Megalodon was able to prey on such large animals was because of its jaws and five rows of piercing teeth that regrow themselves after the every feeding season. great phase. white shark footage. They're they started the video with Megalodon footage and since that it's just only been great whites. Nothing else. Their jaws span 8 by 11 feet wide, which was wide enough to swallow two adults whole. Most of the time, their teeth were damaged while feeding or hunting. 
the Megalodon also They've used the same clip three times. I think they've used the same clip probably a dozen times already. A bite force that would leave behind massive marks and sometimes a whole set of teeth on its prey. It's said that the Megalodon has a bite force of over 182,000 <laughs> newtons. To Is he just reading the Wikipedia article while putting... A bite force of about eight... I think he's just reading the Wikipedia article while putting, you know, re like, great white shark footage behind it. 15,000 newtons. The scientists have yet to find concrete evidence of what exactly drove the Megalodon to extinction. Many possible causes have <laughs> I been love given this video where it like, looks around like a dog some of them. as if any Let's sharks ever done the that. Of the changing ecosystem. You should this sketch how you think the Megalodon looked. Alright. I got you. You guys ready? How's that? Good. I didn't forget gills. I did not forget gills. Beautiful. Great. Scientists speculate that with the decline of smaller animals and the growth of larger predators that fought for the same food as the megalodon, this caused an increase in competition. The shortage of prey may have been the reason why it went extinct. Yeah, this does read but like a like a high school thought, project for like science class. Unlikely. Because the Megalodon was a super predator that could easily dominate whatever larger animals emerged at the time and could even make prey out of the larger <laughs> predators. Let's go. I love this image. While the first reason may sound far-fetched, this second reason seems a little more plausible. You see, during the Pliocene era, the Earth was witnessing some massive changes that sounded in its far -fetched. condition. How did its food source going down and it being outcompeted by other predators sound far-fetched at all? It is said that the Megalodon may not have been able to retain a significant amount of metabolic heat, which drove it away from the cooler areas and into warmer waters. And yet everyone says it must be related to the Great White, which is capable of circulating heat similar to a warm-blooded animal. There's just one more evidence if you want to, like, talk about the Megalodon evolved into Great White, etc. Warm-blooded, cold-blooded. And we still don't know the reason behind the Megalodon's extinction, if they were ever extinct to begin with. It goes many hard, fake sightings, what can I say? a lack of evidence for their extinction, and the release of movies like The Meg. Many conspiracy theories have been going around that these seeds. You say the lack of evidence for their extinction? Monsters may have. Maybe like not finding a tooth in 1.5 million years might be enough. Have not been extinct at all. That's right. Some people believe that the megalodon is still alive. <gasps> just hiding they do? in the deepest parts of the ocean. That's crazy. We're talking about mystery sea monsters. While it is true that there is no exact evidence of its extinction, it is also true that there is no proof that the Megalodon is still alive. Some conspiracy theorists put forward evidence like the report of the huge nine-foot great white shark eaten whole by an unknown predator. This incident was all <laughs> yeah, over the news when classic. a research team found Not eaten whole, but the tag went down. A tracking device of a great white shark washed up on shore. Yeah, I have no idea what When analyzing the data, they here. found that the ups and downs in the temperature of the shark and a sudden 1,900-foot drop in depth. So the only logical reason they came up with was that the shark was eaten whole by something bigger than Just him. showed the same video twice in a row, but slightly more zoomed in the second time. It was also a clip that he had shown earlier in the video. But here are some of the reasons why all of the above quote-unquote evidence might not be plausible. Might for not. For one, we have established that the Megalodon is one of the primary pieces of evidence for their existence. Any new fossil discovered always dates back to two million years ago when they were said to exist. If they still lived on after that period, surely at least one fossil would have been discovered in recent times. But no, they evolved to not lose their teeth anymore. But Obviously. guess what? There is none. All evidence <laughs> of the Megalodon dates back to the Hey, I love this era. image. And after that, they vanished. We're just seeing every image three times. I love it. So if there was any place where they could be, it's the East Atlantic Coastal Plain and Florida. Jesus Christ. If they lived there, people would probably... I think this is the, probably the sixth time we've seen this video. ...see them taking their evening snack on tour boats. It ate 2,500 pounds of fish daily. Calculate that with this life expectancy, and you'll see what we mean. Tell me how the video with 700 views from a 29 subscriber person is probably the best video we've ever watched. Home dogs definitely starved for footage. He had used the same clips and the same photos like 20 times, but it wasn't bad overall. I'll give him that. Whoa.